Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's learn this angle sum property of a triangle. In fact, we all know that, in fact, for a given triangle, this is a given triangle ABC and this is angle A, A, this is B and this is C. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Sum of all angles of a triangle is 180 degree. In fact, there is a theorem for this. Sum of all angle of triangle is 180 degree. Okay, since this, this is a theorem, let's try to prove it. Okay, let's try to prove it. To prove this, what I'll do is I'll just draw a parallel line here. Right? So I'll draw. It's A, B, C, I'll say it, make it D, E. Draw D, E parallel to B, C. Now, if this angle is B, this angle is also B. This is C, this is also C. Right? I just mentioned that angle C, A, B is equal to B or is equal to angle A, B, C is equal to B. Why? Alternate angle. Similarly, angle this one EAC is equal to angle this one ACB is equal to C. Same alternate angle. So now, if you see, if you add all these three angles and form a straight line, you just see that angle CAB plus angle BAC plus angle CAE. Is equal to what angle C A. Yeah, this is D. D. This is D. D A B. This is D. And for a thing I gave you D, right? D A B. Yeah. This is nothing but angle D A E, and that is 180 degree straight line. Correct? So I can say that D A B is what? B. Angle BAC is what? A. And angle CA is what? C. And this is nothing but 180 degrees. So, angle, if you see, sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree that is proved. Okay. The next is the angle sum property exterior angle. Please note this is a very important concept. Let's understand this. So, this is a triangle. This is angle BABC. If I extend one side, then this angle is equal to this angle plus this angle. So let me number this. This is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. And let's suppose all are not equal. So angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. That is the theorem. We can prove it. This is a theorem. Let me write the theorem first. If a side of triangle is produced, Then the exterior angle so produced is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles. This is a theorem. So, angle if there is a side produced extra, let's suppose this is E. So, this angle 4 will be equal to sum of the opposite two interior angle. Okay, and also it implies that this opposite interior exterior angle will be greater than any of these. So, angle 4 will be greater than angle 1, and angle 4 will also be greater than equal to angle 2. Why? Because 4 is nothing but sum of 1 and 2. So, 4 will always be greater than any of these. Okay, that is implied. Let's prove it. Okay. So, we know that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is what? 180 degree. Angle sum. Property. Okay. Okay. So, angle... Okay, so 
एंगल वन प्लस एंगल टू इज वॉट वन एटी डिग्री माइनस एंगल थ्री ओके एंड दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड लेट्स सेकेंड इक्वेशन सेकेंड इक्वेशन एंगल थ्री प्लस एंगल फोर इज वॉट वन एटी डिग्री वाई लीनियर पेयर सो एंगल फोर इज वॉट वन एटी डिग्री माइनस एंगल थ्री equation number 2 so if you see in both the equation right hand side is same so from this i can say that angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 so using 1 and 2 using 1 and 2 equation i can say that angle 4 is equal to angle 1 and plus angle 2 and that is what i had to prove okay pretty easy just think try it is not a difficult i'll recommend you guys to pause the video try on your own and only if you are not able to solve it you can you should see the proof for the given theorem this is pretty easy let's take some more numericals now so if qt is parallel to pr figure is given sorry qt is perpendicular to pr angle tqr tqr is 40 degree given spr 30 degree when you define the value of x and y See, finding the value of x is pretty easy. If you see this triangle, two angles are given, so nine degree. You can find the value of x pretty easily. So you can say that in triangle QTR, okay, this is given, this is given. So I have to find. So I can say that angle TQS, this angle, plus angle QTR, plus angle TRQ. One eighty degree angles on property. TQS is what TQS is forty degree. QTR is what ninety degree. And TRQ is what X. So with that one eighty degree. X is fifty degree. One part is done. So X is fifty degree we know. Okay. Now we can use angles on property. So if you see this angle PSR in triangle PSR, angle PSQ, PSQ the exterior angle is nothing but sum of opposite angle that is SPR plus angle PRS. Okay, and this is thirty, and this is fifty. You just found it. So thirty plus fifty is what? So y is eighty. That's all. Okay. So there are so many ways to find this. I'll recommend you guys to find the same solution using other ways and actually do that. So the question says the three sides AB and AC of triangle ABC is a triangle ABC. The sides AB and AC of these are produced E and D respectively. The bisector; these are the bisectors of um, the bisector BO and CO of angle CBE and BCD. They meet at O. We have to prove that BOC is ninety degree minus half BAC. What is BAC X? That is X ninety degree minus half X. That's what we have to prove this. So if we can find the, this angle, we can find this angle. We can easily find this angle. Do you agree? Okay. So let this angle be one. This angle will also be one. This angle will be two. This angle will also be two. Same. Because they are same. Okay. So one plus one plus x plus y is one plus one plus y is what? One eighty degree. So let me get that. Angle one plus angle one plus y is one eighty degree. Equation number one. So I can say that with that angle one is what? I have to find angle one and two now. Angle one is what? One eighty degree minus y by two. That is ninety degree minus y by two. That is equation. Similarly, angle two. Angle two plus angle two plus z is equal to one eighty degree. So with that, angle two is what 
180 degree minus z by 2 that is 90 degree minus z by 2. So I found angle 1 angle 2 I can easily find angle BOC. So angle BOC plus angle 1 plus angle 2 is what 180 degree as per the triangle theorem. Okay. So angle BOC is something we have to find. Angle 1 is what? 90 minus y by 2 and this is 90 degree minus z by 2 and that is equal to 180 degree. This gets cancelled. So what you get is angle BOC is nothing but x plus y by 2. That is what you get. But I have to put something else. I have to prove that, sorry, y plus z by 2. y plus z by 2. So y plus z, but I have to find this in the x term because this is x, right? 90 degree minus x by 2. So we know that x plus y plus z is for 180 degree in triangle ABC. So I can say that y plus z is nothing but 180 degree minus x. So y plus z I will replace with 180 minus x. So angle B O C is nothing but 180 minus x by 2 and that is nothing but 90 minus x by 2 and that is nothing but 90 minus x by x is what angle B A C. So with this it is true B A C by 2 x by 2 right so x is B A C so x by 2 angle B A C by 2 so that is my solution. Not that difficult just try it. It is not a difficult. You have to understand that in these uh, triangles, some of the angle is 180. Here, this triangle, some of the angle is 180. Apply this, and somehow you'll be able to prove this. Not that difficult. Okay. The sides uh, QP and RQ. QP and RQ. They are produced to point S and T. So there is a triangle there, and these two sides are produced. And these angles are given. Find P Q R P Q R P R Q. This I have to find. So how to find? See this angle is 110 given. I can easily find this angle. This will be 70. This is 135 given. I can easily find this angle. And this will be how much? 55. I have 55, 70. I can easily find this angle. Right. So this is 55. This is 70. You add these. 55 plus 70 and let this be x. It will be 180 degree and you solve this x will be 125 sorry this is 45 4, yeah 45 so you solve this sixty five yeah. seven plus four 11, 115, 180 minus 115, 160, yeah. 65 degree. That is the solution. You can just write in the plain words, pretty easy, right? You have, you can easily find this angle, you can easily find this angle. Once you have this angle, you can angle some property, you can easily find angle x. And that is what we have to find. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.